Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ZeroAutomation.com and welcome to part 7 of our API testing with RISTARP and SpecFlow course. And in this video, we'll be talking about the continuation of the previous video, which is nothing but the execute with generic and asynchronous operation. So, in our last video, we completed the execute with generic approach and we also saw how we can create an asynchronous operation with the structure of the method that we created in our last video. And in this video, we need to complete this particular operation that we were looking for. So as I said before, we are going to be using what is called as a task completion source class for doing that, something like this. This particular task completion source class actually is something which is going to give us a more verbose information of what is really happening along with the result, which is nothing but the response. So for doing that, I'm going to be just calling our client. So this one that I'm going to work with. And then I'm going to call the execute async method that we already have. And here I'm going to pass the type, which is nothing but the T. And then I'll be passing the request and the rest response. So the response is going to be something that I'm going to be passing in. So there you go. And let's put a semicolon here. And this guy, I'm just going to put an if condition here. So the rest response dot error exception is not equal to null. So for that, I'm just going to create a constant string message. If not, it's going to be throwing me an application exception, something like this, right? So this is the execute async method that I need to be passing in. And then I'll be setting the result for the task completion source. So the task completion source dot set result and the result is going to be of rest response over here, right? And then I can return the value of something like this. So return a weight of task completion source dot task right so this way this is going to be responding as back into this particular uh, task value so that i can then perform the additional operation so throwing me suddenly an exception here which is nothing but the rest or oh, oops it's actually rest response so i'm gonna copy this guy i'm gonna paste it over here all right seems to be good now and i also need to change this over here all right seems to be more unified right now and most importantly since we are using this t i also need to specify the where condition of what the t can be of so where t is going to be of a class or it can be of a new type right so now the error has been gone so this is how the method is going to look like so this is the actual execute async method where you're going to be writing the verbose information of the error as well as you're going to be setting the result of the execution and this is going to return you the task result and then you can perform the rest of the operation right so this is the execute async result method or the library method that we really require to perform the operation of right executing that test in a synchronous fashion and again there is a most easiest option as well which is available within the rest assured but as of now just be just bear with me that this method is something which is very very handy for now but later we are going to replace this method as well right this seems to be a lot of code in here and you may be wondering mm, why not just reduce this number of code it seems to be a lot of clutter here and that's why we are going to be working on that kind of options as well but just bear with me this code is going to be really really helpful if you try to understand how this code actually works but as of now this code seems to be very very easy as well right so for this particular method now i'm just going to be calling the execute with a sync method so i'm just going to call this guy in here and then I'll be just passing the client over here. And then I need to pass the request. So this is the request that I'm going to get in over here, right? So if I pass this over here, you can see that since this is a task based class, it will comply to your message saying you need to have an await usage or it says that 
the method should be of a weight if not the code is not going to work right so you can see that there is a usage saying i rest response of t x is equal to a weight of this one so you need to have this a weight here something like this var of the result something like that so if you want to do like this again there will be one more error it says await can be used only within an async method so you need to make this method as a sync here so that this particular error will be gone a little bit but still you still have this kind of error so in order to overcome this kinds of problem instead of making so much of changes here and there in c sharp there is a very very easiest option available which is called as get awaiter method and this get awaiter method also has what is called as a get result method which is going to give you the result of what executions are which basically going to happen right so if you actually have this particular options you can actually execute the code much better and much easier and one more important thing is we also need to pass the type here i completely forgot that i'm going to pass the type right so you can see there is no more errors here and then this code is going to work pretty much like how it worked for this execute method so i can just come on this particular piece of code and I know what you are thinking right now, like there are so many uh, new things that we have introduced. There are like asynchronous uh, options, there are like async and await, and then I'm passing in with the, playing around with the get awaiter and get result. Again, these things are C-sharp things and it's nothing to do with REST-sharp itself because we are still using the C-sharp's most advanced and easiest options to perform the operations, right? So let me try to build the solution now. And now if I try to run this post with a sync operation, this is going to execute this code pretty much like how it executed with the execute method as well. We are, because we are actually calling this get awaiter with the get result method here to wait for the, rest, the result and then get the response back. So you can see that it is currently executing the code. Oops, seems like there are some error. Okay, it's because of the duplicate value, so I probably need to cancel that. I'll make this as 18 and let's try to run this again so what happens is like even though it, it still returns some values it is still waiting for this to complete there you go the test has got successfully completed now right so this is how you can work with the asynchronous operation as well so as you can see the methods are kind of growing and it is getting bigger and bigger all these things we need to somehow write a custom extension methods to make this more organized and more reusable instead of writing every code in this kind of fashions. I know what you're thinking about. So let's discuss about this in our next video and understand how things work. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.